Dominican friars in Rwanda, Solemnity of St. Peter and St. Paul. Brothers and sisters, today the church invites us to meditate and celebrate the solemnity of two great founding figures of the church and pillars of our faith, St. Peter and St. Paul. What do their lives reveal to us about faith? What can we learn from them today? In the scripture, St. Peter is presented as the spokesman of the disciples to Jesus. He speaks on behalf of the other disciples. He is honest and courageous. He promises Jesus to be faithful to him up to the end. But when the first trial situation arose, he denied Christ three times to save his head. It's human. The good news is the fact that he erased this betrayal by loving Jesus. In his preaching, St. Peter was the vigilant guardian of the Jewish tradition and thanks to St. Paul and to the listening of the Holy Spirit, he will open up to the pagan world of that time. He then died crucified in Rome. St. Paul joins the mission of the apostles after the resurrection. His encounter with Jesus and his awareness of Jesus' message for humanity will turn his life upside and down and transform him from a vibrant defender of the Jewish religion into an unshakable defender of faith in Jesus. He innovates the mission by opening up to the world of pagan preaching by word and deed, the grace of God. Brothers and sisters, many Christians can easily find themselves on the journey of the faith of St. Paul and St. Peter. They are models for us in a sense that they show us that sin and the fragility of faith do not have the last word in our relationship with God. The two were converted and later became courageous preachers of the word of God. Although one is described as a traditionalist and the other as progressive in regard to the Jewish religion, in Christ they find the point of convergence and they, their ministry complement each other. Today in the world of discouragement and despair, of division and discrimination, of lies and hypocrisy, we can learn from St. Paul and St. Peter the honesty and the courage to seek God in the truth and let us ask from God the grace to be bridges between God and humanity while striving to be the true witnesses of Christ in the face of trials of life now and forever. Amen.